I wanted to talk about visibility. I've been posting these vlogs now for about three years and I don't know what my goal is aside from like getting my thoughts out on the internet. I think my real goal was to just sort of like connect with people in general and just try to socialize the best of my ability while staying introverted and not leaving the house. And the internet seemed like the way to do that. And um, so far I've been enjoying it. I like uh, I like the interactions that I've had with people. Everyone's been, I don't know, they're almost always super awesome. If um, If I get a negative comment, you know, they can eat a dick. Just, you know, I don't care like that. But uh, a while back, I told a buddy of mine I'd help him with his channel a bit. And all I do is I add some overlays uh, for social medias and I, and I do a little bit of color work. I just, you know, touch up the contrast and uh, hit the saturation just a bit to give it more color. And that, that's really kind of it. And I just send him the videos back. But what I didn't know, he did mention it, but I didn't know the effect it would have. He said that he'd give me credit for editing, which I was like, you know, that's cool. I don't really need credit for editing, but I appreciate it. But turns out he tagged me like 500 times. And so when you do that, the hashtag pops up more than what you're referencing. Because <laughs> I don't have that many videos. And so if you look up my channel name, which is Asian Guy Vlog, like my channel pops up. A stream from like three years ago where I tried Genshin Impact. I didn't play it very long. Didn't really care for the game too much. And then everything else that pops up is his channel. And man did that bother me like i'm not trying to go viral or anything like that i don't know what the hell i'm really trying to do but when you upload for three years and it feels like someone just buried your channel underneath a mountain of magic the gathering cards you feel a certain way about it like if you look at my channel name a logan paul video with magic cards pops up because it's a related search topic and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really bitter about that. I don't really have anything against Logan Paul. I don't like him. The The few clips I've seen of him, he doesn't seem like, a, like someone I would associate with in the sense of... I mean, I'm going to be honest. He just seems kind of like one of those um, attention-seeking assholes that, like, will do and say whatever, which is fine. The internet is full of that kind of stuff, you know, but I go through great lengths to not be that kind of person. And so when his videos start getting suggested under my name, it's like, you know, it's fucking weird. And so I don't know, I'm still a little bitter about that. I've been thinking a lot about maybe starting a new channel and then I just figured, fuck it, I'll just keep doing this because I don't know. It's not really working for me. And so I'm going to continue to pursue the redundancy of uploading to this vlog because I don't like change. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I said all that to say, you know, when I found out that my channel got buried, it, it makes you feel a bit invisible. And I don't know if anyone starts putting themselves out on the internet to feel invisible. I don't... I don't think that was my intention, and so it's um, it's one of those things, man. It's like, damn. Ugh. Why did you hashtag me 500 times? And, you know, he, he was real cool about it when I brought it up. He went through the effort and removed all those hashtags and stuff, and so who knows, maybe the, uh, the search engine optimization, the SEO, as my friend put it, might, you know, update. I highly doubt it. I think the damage is done. But the majority of the people that find my channel find it through titles anyway. Like, I'm, I feel certain, like, the last 100 subscribers that I've gotten have just been because people have had their birthday forgotten and they found my video where everyone forgot my birthday. And so, you know, maybe I'll just go back to trying to make trendy, searchable titles. I don't know. I'm not overly thrilled with what happened, but it's also, like, it's not my livelihood, so I don't really, you know, I don't take it too personally, but at the same time, it feels like three years of work was for nothing, and that that's the part that sucks. But anyway, if you ever search my channel name and you find a bunch of Magic the Gathering cards and just 
card unpacking videos. That's why. Thanks, buddy.